Hi, I'm Sally Andrews and this video is from Naked Recovery and Naked Divorce. And these are my three top tips for practicing self-care following a breakup or a divorce. So top tip number one is really to focus on getting physically active. I know, you probably feel like slumping in a fetal position and curling up under a duvet and staying there for the rest of your life. I really get it, I've been there. However, physical activity is a really fundamental part of your healing process. Your poor nervous system is probably in a state of hypervigilance. If you've experienced any fight flight type energy, that means you will have been pumping adrenaline and cortisol and a lot of kind of stress hormones into your body. And you really need to release those and discharge them. Otherwise they turn to longer term stress and trauma. And so getting out and exercising, if it's fight energy that you've been experiencing or dropping in and out of, something aerobic or a, a run um, or a big, um, uh, you know, a power walk to, to really like march that, that energy out. Um, or you can soothe yourself in a, in a gentle class of yoga or even a private yoga session at home, which also incorporates the breath in a beautiful way, incredibly regulating for your nervous system. Um, walking in nature, even if both of those suggestions are not landing for you and you don't feel up to them yet, then please at least once a day, take the dog for a walk. And if you don't have a dog, find a neighbor with a dog or just take yourself for out for a walk. It's incredibly balancing and restorative to just be in the atmosphere and the energy of trees and nature. So that's one way you can sneak in some physical activity to your day. Number two, you probably guessed it, healthy eating. Yes, I know, you want to be curled up under that blanket on the sofa with your ice cream or your comfort food, and I don't blame you. That's often how most of us feel when we've been through a traumatic experience and we're feeling really low. However, it is actually the worst thing we can possibly do to support our healing. We need to choose nutritious, healthy foods that are restorative to our body. So first of all, when we eat the junk, super processed stuff that's sugar laden, we actually cause inflammation in our body. Our vagus nerve and our nervous system is inflamed. And that means we're keeping ourselves in these stress responses for longer periods of time. When we actually put healing foods in our body, nutrients into our body, then we are calming that nervous system down. And actually, when you really think about it, the after effects of eating nutritious food we feel energized, we feel radiant, we have energy. We can go and do that physical activity that I recommend and we feel alive. Whereas the comfort food gives us the short term comfort and afterwards we generally feel meh and a bit groggy. So just make that commitment to yourself that you're gonna stock the fridge with all those leafy greens and healthy veg and fruit and berries and make a commitment that you're gonna take care of yourself in that way. And then number three, sleep. Yes, I can hear you screaming at me already. I can't sleep. My head is whirring. <laughs> it can be very difficult to get a good night's sleep when we've been through a breakup. I totally get it. I, again, have been there. My top tip on sleep, and I looked into this uh, in great detail because I really did struggle a, an enormous amount with this one, is that we, you need to start preparing for bedtime way, way, way earlier than you think. So your bedtime routine could start as early as five or six o'clock with a healthy meal, <laughs> maybe a hot bath after that healthy meal, maybe a bit of exercise after that, a good amount of time after that healthy meal. Buy yourself some chamomile tea or some nighttime tea and actually have that tea a couple of hours before you're ready to go and put yourself in bed and then maybe one an hour before you go to bed as well. Switch out your screen time activity, that good old blue light and the stimulation and the fast moving uh, content that we get bombarded with and films, even Netflix. Switch that stuff out for calmly reading a book. This will calm your nervous system down and it will start to make you feel drowsy. It's very sleep inducing to read a book. So take that one on. And then right before bed, practice some meditation. So just sitting and experiencing all the feelings in your body and bringing, your, bringing mindfulness to what's actually going on in the here and now. What are the sensations in my body? What is my breath doing? What are my thoughts doing? Bring my focusing back into the physical sensations and breath work. 
deep inhalations through the nose and deep exhalations through the mouth. Again, calming yourself and replicating the type of breath that we organically go into when our bodies are falling asleep. So good luck with all of those. I wish you well. And please do get in touch if you would like one of us to guide you on this journey. It can be easy and it can be fun.